Are you dealing with a pesky thyroid nodule or goiter? I'm going to share with you one amazing supplement that will help you get rid of goiters and nodules and just really clear out any fibrosis of your thyroid. And if you're not sure or haven't heard about that, stay tuned for this informative video. I'm so excited to have you join me today because we're going to talk a little bit about the thyroid health. I've been polling and monitoring and assessing all of your comments. And I know that about 500 of you in our community have messaged me specifically inquiring about how to get rid of a goiter or a nodule or some sort of mass that is not cancerous, that maybe has been biopsied or is being monitored that is plaguing your thyroid. Maybe it's popping out a little bit, it's a little inflamed. So I wanna share with you specifically the go-to resource. So we're gonna dig right on in. The supplement, the nutrient, the mineral your thyroid needs to heal itself, to balance that tissue, to resolve the fibrosis. And that's an actual cellular texture tissue change of the the gland, your thyroid gland. This particular version of selenium is my favorite. It's what I take every day. And I'm gonna share with you what it looks like. It literally is a little pill. It's a little white pastel and you literally put it in your mouth under your tongue. So I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. This is not one of the most flavorful, enjoyable supplements that I'm usually dissolving under my tongue, but you know what? For the health of your thyroid, it's worth kind of going through this process. And literally it's dissolving right now, it's completely dissolved. So it's really, really fast. And it just gives you kind of like a, I don't know, kind of like a salty kind of taste. Personally, I've had experiences with different textural changes of my thyroid gland. This is back in my 20s and then in my early 30s where I had a uh, goiter that they had felt in my 20s. I was like 22, 23. This was the whole time that I had the whole Epstein bar fiasco. That's what got me into doing what I'm doing now. But also in my early 30s, I was talking and presenting at a health fair and I had a scan and I actually had a cyst in my thyroid. So I've, I've been through a lot of the scans, the ultrasounds, the MRIs, needle biopsies. I've, I've been there, done that. I've even had conversations with a um, very old school, traditional endocrinologist who wanted to remove my thyroid, insanity. And simply put, you can heal and resolve the different cellular changes and the tissue changes of your thyroid. So what happens when your body and your thyroid starts to develop a goiter or a nodule. Those are usually synonymous. There's different types of them, but essentially what you need to know is that your body is lacking certain nutrients, nutrient density, mineral density to help support, feed, and nourish your thyroid. Most of the time we're told or we're thinking, oh, I need iodine. And while the thyroid and thyroid receptors throughout your whole entire body, you have them in your breast, you have them in your uterus, we need iodine. But also, we need equal balancing and the ratio, equal ratio of selenium. And this is something we don't test. And so if you're curious, I actually do uh, mineral testing. It's very easy. They are at-home kits. It's super simple. But you can analyze, like, what are my selenium levels? levels? What are my iodine levels? Because that it gives you quantifiable, substantial data. You then can measure your progress to see. We can also get specifics with dosing so that we can have the fastest turnaround. But selenium, we know through science and clinical research that when there are deficiencies in the body, the way it often is registered is in a goiter or nodule or some sort of mass or tissue change of the thyroid. So this is my tip for you friends. This is short and sweet but hugely impactful. So if you have any friends, family members, maybe yourself are dealing with thyroid imbalance, I'm going to encourage you to take my free thyroid webinar. This is hugely impactful. You're gonna learn a ton of information, not just about selenium and its benefits to healing your thyroid, but overall, 
how to manage Hashimoto's, or maybe you're dealing with hyperthyroidism or just regular hypothyroidism. Doesn't matter what the category, and even like myself, I'm not in any of those categories, but I wanna maintain my thyroid health because my family has that dominant factor of thyroid imbalances being part of our wonderful genes and DNA. So if you do wanna check out my webinar, I'll include a link down below. I'll also include a little link there, but basically go to my website, naturalhealthresources.com slash webinar that gets you into that webinar. I run that webinar quite frequently. If you enjoyed this video or have any specific thyroid questions, I'm going to encourage you to comment down below. We are assessing, evaluating, and monitoring comments and categorizing your comments about specific health concerns and it's driving our content here. So I'm gonna encourage you to comment. Please give this video a thumbs up. This actually helps support the YouTube algorithm. It's some crazy technical term, but it tells YouTube, you like my stuff. And so if you are not a subscriber, I hope you will become a subscriber. And then also I have a private community membership here and we have a private uh, community that they pay $4.99 a month to get access to behind the scenes. I've been doing daily vlogs over there, just real short and sweet, but you'll find out more information about what I'm using, what I'm doing, where I'm going, and additional tips. So I hope you'll check that out. There'll be links also to join down below. And we have special emojis our viewers can use. We also have special badges that when you comment, there'll be a little badge that pops up on the screen. They're really cute. There are branded logos specifically for you. So I hope you do consider becoming one of our members. It is very supportive of our efforts and it helps me continuing to put out valuable content here. So I'm grateful to all of our members. I do want to welcome some of our new members. Sarah is one of our new members. Welcome, Sarah. We love having you. Thank you for joining our community. So friends, I'll see you on our next video.